Good morning. Good morning. Alrighty, so today is Tuesday. We are going to have a thrilling, terrific Tuesday. Alrighty, so as you can see, it is just me today. Um, so that means that we're going to change a few things around. I have a question. Yesterday during my art lesson, how many people did I say could be at the art table at once? Three. Three. So because I'm by myself today, I'm going to have to change that, okay? Only because if I'm teaching a lesson and then it gets crazy by the art shelf, then there's not going to be a teacher there to help me, okay? So I'm going to change it to one. Mm, I'll do two. Two. Two people at the art table. And I have one more change, okay? We're gonna work on our Alma Woodsy art and not self-portrait. Because when we do self-portrait, I have to get the skin tone out, I have to put it on the table. There's a lot of stuff. So the Alma Woodsy stuff you can do. But, like I said yesterday, a really, really important part of that is cleaning up the art table. If you get it on the table, that happens. I'm sure you didn't mean to. But the biggest part is that you clean up, right? And when you go, into the kitchen to clean up, where should your volume be at? Like, no, like, whispering. like whispering or not talking at all, okay? Not talking at all. So, we have art today, we have French today, so you know that we're gonna not have a read aloud or go to line at 11. Um, I might do presentations today, I might not, it just sorta of depends. So, some of the people that were here this morning got so much work done so much work done why did they get so much work done Ezra what was it about it it was yeah it was quiet like we could hear the music it was so calm and that's what I want for everyone today okay I want us to have a really 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 focused calm day and guess what I have an idea we have extra art supplies and because drama is only for 30 minutes today I was thinking that we could squeeze in a group art project if our work time is quiet and focused I have extra art supplies and I have ideas Me too. but if it's really, really loud and people aren't focusing, do you think we're gonna be able to do extra art? Yeah. No. So we're gonna be so focused, okay? So very focused. But how long okay. Do you have to um, like 10 minutes. All right, so I've decided that we are going to do mosaics. So I've been spending a lot of time figuring out what we're gonna do for our art project. So mosaics using these foam and then all of these pieces of paper they're gonna use and I'm gonna cut out more and like this is sort of like what I'm going for it's not gonna look just like this but this is what we're going for so that is what we're going to work on and these are gonna be like our backgrounds alrighty it is 12 and we are headed to lunch and I have my art project nice and planned out and it is raining i think for lunch it's like um potatoes baked potatoes so good and like the best garlic rolls ever so good all right guys when we go inside let's make sure to be super super quiet we're gonna sort of go fast because it's raining It has been wild. Alrighty, so they're at PE, which makes this sort of like my planning period. So we just got done with our little mosaic and it's actually really cute. Okay, I'm gonna show like a few examples. This is one of them. This student like build it up really, really fun. <laughs> Ice cream cone doesn't get cuter than that. This has their name writ written at the top, but 
There you go. This one, they want to do like a color scheme, which is really cool. This, just sort of lining it up. They did a lot of fun stuff. He added some smiley faces. This has her name on it, but she wanted to do the flag for her mom. Oh, these I really like. They decided to only use, like I got like a, a magazine and they decided to do just the ones with words. So it turned out really, really well. The thing that like as a teacher that I always worry about is sometimes the art activity itself is really fun, but like the way that you execute it could literally make or break it. So like we had all of these and I just put a ton in different sandwich bags and had one person go to a table and they shared it with their table. And like, honestly, I got them to clean up seven minutes before PE, sweep the floors, got everything up off the floor, turned in their bags, turned in their glue sticks. I had one glue stick for everyone. And yeah, like they transitioned really well. And so now the way that we would do it is like, I'm like, okay, we did this all together in the afternoon. Like tomorrow, the materials are just gonna go on the shelf. And if you wanna do art during work time, you can finish working at your table or working on your little mosaic. And we have an art show. Oh, this one's really pretty. I like that. We have an art show and that's when I'm sort of like, oh my gosh, like y'all have to have something to put in the art show. So that's what I did. I think it's honestly really pretty. We love a good mosaic, so yeah, they're at PE. Normally during this time, honestly, I lay on the floor to simply just like detox and just be like, I need to breathe. But today I have aftercare. So I'm gonna work in the preschool. So yeah, I'll check back in before it's time for them to go. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys a lesson that I taught to them this morning and sometimes this is what I use this time for maybe I can do like this this time for as well it's just like if I have any lessons that I need to teach and I need to practice this is when I practice my skirt looks like it's I'm bulging but it's just like my shirt so annoying so I teach botany and so this is one of our leaf cabinets and this is missing a handle but i showed them how to use them and the possible follow-ups for what they can do so these are the little cards in there um for instance this oh, this card it says linear leaves are a narrow and extremely long and are extremely long like a ribbon. Sometimes a linear leaf is as narrow as a line. So I would look and I would know it would be this leaf and then the student would put the label down by that leaf and so on. So at the end, the follow-ups I gave them to do, which means like what they can do after they match everything, is just like I told them they could go out and look for plants that have the same leaf shape, which right, right now everything's dead. So they're just gonna go outside. But they can trace them in their notebooks. They can color them green. And I also like to incorporate like art into the follow-up. So something that I'll say is like, hey, even though this is a botany lesson, if you want to do like a follow-up for it, you could go and paint them because they love to do art. Or then I told them you can go on a nature walk or you can take this outside and see if you can find it. Different follow-ups like that. And then for all of these lessons, we have something called a control chart and it's just like so once they match them they can look back at this and be like oh yeah like this is an obovate like leaf or something like that so there's three of these drawers and i showed them how to use them all righty guys the rest of you line up it's carpool i'm gonna do carpool i did not say go yet All right, bye everyone. Love you, love you, love you. Let's go. To carpool we go.